Hola, mi gente. <laughs> okay, so um, today I'm doing... Oh, color codes here. So today I'm doing a rotation of a matrix by 90 degrees. I said I was going to do it like so many times for a few months now and it's been on my list so I really want to do this one. Um, yeah, it's it's not in place. So I think because I've been studying the one that's not like rotating in place, so I'm basically making a new um, list or matrix or whatever. So I will most likely do another version I would probably most likely do two versions in my blog post, the in place version and one that's not in place. Um, yeah, so stay tuned because I've been trying to understand this algorithm forever, but like there's only there's like one line that just like is where the magic really happens, honestly. Um, so I'm going to show it to you right now, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so where's the original um, matrix? This is the original, and then right here is the rotation. So, as you can see, here we're doing it clockwise. So, you know, some algorithms may take you this way, but right now I'm going to take you over the side. So, as you can see, like, if we rotate 90 degrees, <laughs> um, the one, two, three is going to flip over to here. So as you can see, it's one, two, three. And then as this moves down, these other um, numbers, six and nine, they move this way. You know, like uh, they slide this way, they slide this way, and then the numbers over here, they move this way. And you know, five is in the middle, so it doesn't really change. So we're going to be doing like a end by end. So it's important that when you're putting in your test case that um, the columns are the same length as the, the number of items in the rows. Or, yeah, or just like the number of rows, number of rows and number of columns are equal. So hopefully I explained that right. You should definitely stick it in a visualizer like Python Tutor um, so that you can see the breakdown and just see how it works. But yeah. That's basically what we're going to be doing. Okay, so first we're going to create a function called define rotate. And it's going to take the matrix as an argument. It's very important to have edge cases, so we don't want to receive an empty argument or an empty matrix or just a matrix that's less than one. So we're going to create an edge case here. So if matrix is none or equals none, doesn't really matter or the length of the matrix is less than 1 less than we're just going to return so then and if the length of the matrix is is equal to 1 yeah, I said that with a question. If the length of the matrix is equal to 1, then we just want to return the matrix. Okay. So then, right now, we're adding in a, a matrix that doesn't fit any of these edge cases. Um, so this is where the magic really happens. So, do not get scared, but I'm gonna do a list comprehension right now. Um, we're creating a new list, and we're iterating, and we're storing it into a variable. So, we're basically doing a for loop, um, and storing it into a variable. 
So new matrix equals, and right now this, this is how we make a copy. So you can say row, you can say I, it doesn't really matter. Um, but to understand it more, we're going we're gonna to say row. So this is this means to copy, um, making a copy in in Python. So we're gonna say for row in matrix. So this is gonna do its own inside for loop, and then it's gonna return basically a copy of the original list that we saw before. And it's going to store it in a new matrix. Here we're going to have a new variable, and it's going to hold the length of the matrix because we're going to do a nested for loop. For i in range, we can do 0 to a the length of the matrix, and then here we're grabbing the rows, one row, two row, three row. And I'm going to say for J in range zero to A. We'll be able to, with a message for we'll be able to grab both the rows and the columns. So this is where we're going to start filling in um, our empty, this is the new matrix, and then this is the original. Can you see that? Yeah, that's the original, and then that's the rotation. So we're going to start with um, adding one from here and putting it here and then two from here and putting it there, and then three from here and putting it here. And then we're going to loop again, and then we're going to go to this row and then do the same thing. So you're going to see in a second or while we fill this in. So what we're going to do is that we're going to get our new matrix. And we're going to get the index J, which is zero right now. And this is the formula. <laughs> this is the formula that we, that we will use to um, to iterate through the rows and add a new variable. New i. So we're gonna do the length a minus one oops, minus i. Okay. So in this case, oops equals and then we're going to set this equal to here over here matrix i j right now j2 is blank and i j which is zero zero that's equal to one so now we're setting this equal to one and then it's going to iterate again it's going to, J is going to iterate again, and then now J is going to equal 1, and it's, J is going to move down here. So we're at 0, 1, 2, so the second um, row is index 1, and so index 1 is like J right now, and then A still equals 3. So 3 minus 1 minus 0 is 2, so we're going to go here. And as you can see, I, which is still 0, but j is 1. Here we are at index i, and then within that, index 1, which is 2. So we're setting that equal to, I hope this makes sense for you. Um, this is the new matrix right here, and we're taking, um, we're filling the new matrix with items from the old matrix. And then j is going to iterate again, and the new iteration of j is going to be 2. So now it's going to go to the to the third index, which is two, because it needs to start at zero, and it's going to it's going to be two two, because a minus one minus zero 
is, I mean, well, 3 minus 1 minus 0 is 2. So it's going to take i, which is still 0, and now j is 2. So 0 and then j, which is 2, is going to be 3. Okay? And finally, um, now that we've reached the end, range A, it, it reached 3, so now we'll go back and now finally I will iterate to 1. So before I was at 0, now I is going to be 1. Now we can go to the inner loop and it starts over again. So J is going to be 0. So we're going for 0, well, for J in range 0 to A, which is 3, the new matrix, J, which is 0 right now, so here we are, this is the new matrix, 0, and then a, which is 3, minus 1, 2, and now that i is 1, 3 minus 2, or 3 minus 1 minus 1, which is 1. So we go 0, 1, equals i, which is 1, j, which is 0. So the original matrix here, the second index, which is 1. So we go matrix, original, i, and then j is 0. So here we're grabbing the fourth index and we're setting it equal to here. Oops. So we have j, which is 0, and we have 1. So 0, 1. Oops, yeah. So 0, 1 equals 1, 0. Okay, which is this, 4. And then we iterate again. So now j is going to be 1. So, but i is still 1. So now we go to the new matrix and we see here. So j is 1 and 3 minus 2 is 1 also. So now we're here again. And we're setting it equal to matrix 1, 1. So 1, 1 is here. So 5. So we're setting it equal to 5, okay? And then we iterate again, and now j is 2. So here we are at the new um, index. So j is two. so we're at 2, 1. 3 minus 2 is 1 again. And we set it equal to i, which is 1, and then j, which is 2. So we're setting it equal to 6. And then we do the same thing over. So now we iterate again, and now i is going to be 2, okay? And then j is going to start again at 0, okay? So j is at 0, so here we are at the new matrix, j, we're at the top, we're at the first index again, of the first row. And then we have a, which is 3, minus 1, which is 2, minus i, which is also 2. So now we have 0, 0 because a minus 1 minus 2 is 0. So for this space right here, for 0, 0, we go back to the original matrix. And now that i is 2, we are, we are at the, the last row in the original matrix. And j is going to be 0. So now we're copying um, 2, 0. So we're taking 7, we're putting it here. Because this is 0. 0. So we're putting it right here. And then j is going to iterate again. And then j is 1. So now we're taking, now we're right here. So 1, 0 is going to be equal to i, j. So let's go to 2 again. And now let's go to 1. So it's going to be 8. And then we're going to iterate the inner loop again. And finally, the last item in the list. So now j is 2. And so we go here, 2, 0. So we're going to go here, and we have i, which is 2, and then j, which is 2. So we're going to copy down 9. And we've rotated. OK, so there you have it, um, the not in place um, extra space 90 degree rotation of a matrix. Um, I hope this was understandable to you. That's why I tried to do a, a very easy one. Um, 
I will have the in place version in Python in my blog post below and I will have the breakdown of this. I realized that it kind of comes off kind of small on the board. So this is basically the most important line. Um, yeah, so check my blog post. I plan on doing another algorithm, the Sudoku checker question. I've been meaning to get to that one for a while also. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. There will be two versions. I don't know if I said that already, but there will be two versions in the blog post. And yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Let me know if anything. <laughs> I feel like I've said that so many times, but yeah, just let me know. Take care.